Now set 61. Game four. There's an ordering problem. We have seven verses. They've got to give their information sessions one at a time. And there's five conditions we've been given. First condition says that between H and M, there have to be at least two other sessions. So I've written that as H underscore underscore to say that there's two things at least here. Dot 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 to say there could be more things. And then switch across the top to say we don't know which is first. G and K are consecutive. I've put a box around there to remind me that the, they act as a block that might be separated. M is before J. And L is before F, which is before K. And our last condition is that L cannot be in the second spot. Let's answer question 18 first, which asks, which of the following is an acceptable situation, an acceptable ordering of the seven objects? So we take one rule at a time. L cannot be in the second spot. So we see B and E have violated this rule. So they're out. H and M have to have at least two things in between. H and M, H M, H M. Those are all good. G and K have to be together. G K, G K, G K. M before J, M before J. Okay, this is no good. C fails. M before J. Then we have to have L before F, before K. So. A doesn't have L before F and K. D has L, F, K. So D satisfies all of our conditions. Now let's see how we can combine some of these conditions. If F is before K and G is immediately before K, that tells me that F is also before this GK block, right? Because nothing gets between G and K. So that's an easy rule combination that we ought to do. Now, M is before J. So I can put M before J here, but it's a little confusing because, because we don't know which is first, H or M, right? So I think I'll write this out as two separate rules. I'll say H with then two things and then M and then J, or we could have M with two things, maybe more, and then H, and then we also the M is before J. So J might be one of the things in between the two, or maybe it's after H. Now I'm also interested in L. L is a leading item. It, it comes before a number of things, right? It's before F, G, and K. But one of the early spots has been ruled out for L. It can't be in the second spot. So that's interesting. That makes me wonder, where can L be? And so, immediately, we know that L can't be in the fifth spot, because there's not three things after it. What would happen if L was in the fourth spot? Well, we'd have to have F, G, and K after it. Now, can we put M and H over here? No, there's just three open spots. If I have M and H in two of these spots, there's only one place in between, so this doesn't work. So we can conclude that L can't be in the fourth spot. Okay, now we've got that L has to be in the first or the third spot. And that's interesting enough to me that I want to, to split our game board up into, into two scenarios. One where L is in the first spot, and one where it's in the third spot. Let's see what we can conclude about this. Okay, if L is in the third spot, we have to have F and the GK block over here, right? That's three of these four spots. So only one of M, J, and H can be over here. Well, if it was M, then M would bring J with it. So it must be H, right? We can't have H and M both before it. So, so we, we have to have H over here somewhere. I'll just put H here and circle it to say, go about anywhere over here. 
and m has to be before j, so it had to be m and then j, and then h could be in the fourth spot because that would be two things in between. So this is one possibility when l is in the third spot. If l is in the first spot, well then we have f and the gk block, right? And we've got all of these as live possibilities, okay? So, so this is useful. No, going forward, we know that either it's going to start with MJL or it's going to start with L. And I think that will help us in answering the questions that come. Number 19 says, J cannot be on which day? So we've seen that J on the second day is one possibility, right? So that's good. J on the third day would mean we're not in this situation, so L has to be first. All right? And so, what are we going to do here? Well, we could do M here, and then H over here, and F and GK for one example. So B is okay. So if J is in the fifth day, how would that work? Well, again, we'd have L first. Now, we've got to play, find a place for this F and the GK block. Well, F, GK could fit in here, but then H and M would be here. That's no good. M has to be before J, for example. So we've got to put the GK block over here, right? Because if the GK is here, then the F is here, and then there's only spots for H and M. But if this is the case, H and M are too close together. They need four spots minimum. So J in the fifth spot is not possible. Okay. Now let's look at the sixth and seventh spots. If J is in the sixth spot, again, we have L first. Now, we need to have J after M, right? So I could put M someplace like this, H back here, and then I can have, have my F and GK. And that satisfies everything. Could J be in the seventh spot? Sure. We can just switch these last two and, and this will work just fine. Okay? Because J can be after H or before H. So seven's fine. Number 20 asks, if J is third, which of the following could be true? So if J is third, then L has to be first. Because L can only be third or first. And then M is always before J, so we have an M in here, right? Now, we've got F before GK. And then we have to have an H somewhere. But that somewhere for H has to be in these last three. It cannot be in the fourth spot, okay? So the fourth spot has to be, well, one of these. And if it has to be one of those, it has to be F, because G and K come after F. So now we've got GK, this block and H are the things that are left. And they can go in either order, H, G, K, or G, K, H. So M is not in the first spot, K in the fifth spot, no. K has to be after G, so it can't be in the fifth spot. H in the sixth spot, no, that would split up our G and K. G in the fifth spot, that looks perfect. F in the second spot, that's not possible. Number 21 asks, if K is before M, who could be in the third spot? So if K is before M, which case are we in? We're in the case where L must be in the one spot. Because if L was in the three spot, M would be first. So we've got L here, and we know that K is before M. So now we have F before GK, which is before M. 
and m is before j. Okay, now where's h going to be? Well, h can't be after m because there's nothing else left to go between m and h other than j. We need two things in between at least. Okay, so j has to be the last thing. m has to be immediately before j. Okay, gk is going to have to be next because we can't have h yet. Now we could have h here, or we could have f. So I'm going to just write h, f. I'll put a switch over the top because I don't know which order these guys are going to go in. Either way, f has two things before we get to m. So who could be the third spot? h and f. And look, I find h. It's definitely not g, j, l, or m. Number 22 asks, if g is fifth, which must be true? So, one, two, three, four, g is fifth, and I'll say k is sixth right away. And what can we conclude? Well, in terms of our two different scenarios, it seems that l could be first or third. So I'll go ahead and write one where I have m, j, l, and then f is before g and k, so I have to have f here. And then h goes in the spot that's left for it. Over here, if I start with l, I've got m, j, and h. If h is in this half, then m and j both have to be over here, but there's not room for m and j over here. So m has to be in this part, and so does j, right? m before j, and the f has to be before the g and h, so f has to be somewhere over here too. h will be here. So what must be true? f in the third spot? No, it could be in the fourth spot. h in the seventh spot? Yeah, in both scenarios, h had to be seven. j in the fourth spot? It could be, or we could have m, j, f here. l in the first spot? doesn't have to be. M in the second spot does not have to be. Number 23 asks, L could be in which place? 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7? And we already answered this question. We determined that L could be in the third place or the first place and nowhere else. If this game seemed difficult, that's because it is difficult and because you need to practice logic games more. So keep practicing. Always focus on your accuracy as you understand games more, understand how these inferences work more, your accuracy will improve and your speed will improve.